hello and welcome to this video tutorial this is going to be a very short um, tutorial on uh, kick php console <coughs> excuse me uh, this is going to be a really short tutorial on kick php console so kick php console is uh, something which provides you a quick and easy way to create crud applications now what do you mean by crud crud stands for create read update and delete so basic application in in cake php or or any 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 application it will contain a create read update and delete so um what console does for us is that it uh, it simply creates um the code for create read um delete and update so basically it creates the models uh, views controllers and it will also create the validation so it will ask us what kind of a validation it wants um, we want to assign and then we can assign that okay now i'll stop talking and we'll start coding so the first thing um, i have to do is to go to search and then search for environment variables so i'll type in environment variables over here so we'll have two options the first one is called the uh, called edit environment variables for your account which is not the one that we want uh, what we want is the second option edit the system environment variable so you click on that you have the system properties popping up on under advanced tab what you have is called uh, um, environment variables so inside that um, this um, system variable that you see over here is uh, is what we need so inside system vari system variables uh, you can see this variable called path and you will have to set um, the path to the console of cake php and sometimes um, you will have to set a uh, the path to your PHP installation so we'll be doing um, both that now um, and we'll see uh, how console can be um, handled so the first thing is to set the path to PHP so we'll open uh, WW directory and we'll go to okay in fact we'll open WAMP directory and we'll open bin and then um, this is our PHP folder we'll open PHP and you'll have different um, like um, versions of PHP so depending upon uh, which version you want you can choose that so if I if I want a latest version this one is the latest version so I'll, I'll open this and I'll copy the path to this latest version and um, you know I'll click on this and I have um, I have uh, this uh, path variable value over here so I'll delete uh, the older one that was uh, 5.2.9.2 I suppose so I'll delete that and I'll, I'll have to make sure that there is always a semicolon after the previous control value uh, previous value so I'll paste paste the current console uh, path to PHP and then I'll um, click OK I'll click OK over here now the next thing I have to set up is uh, the path to um, path to the K console so I'll go to WAMP, um, I'll go to www directory and then I'll go to cake which is our cake PHP application and then inside app inside console I have the cake console so I'll copy this path and then I'll go to um, environment variables again um, I should have done this earlier but um, I'll go to environment variables under variables I have this path over path uh, variable and then the values over here um, this is the value that uh, we inserted last time that is a web path to PHP and then I'll put a semicolon and then I'll paste uh, the path to console um, this is what you can see um, um, see WAMP www cake which is a uh, cake folder and inside cake we have app and inside app we have console so I'll click click OK and I'll click OK over here and I'll click OK over here also and then I'm going to type in um, CMD over here and I have the console popping up now if cake PHP is uh, properly installed I mean cake PHP console is properly installed then if we type if we type this command that is cake bake and then hit enter it should give you this welcome to cake PHP uh, v2.1.2 console this means it, it is welcoming us to version 2 of cake PHP uh, this will be the version of cake php console um, so we have our cake php console ready so i hope this is uh, really clear to you now i talked to you about uh, putting the um, putting the 
environment variable for I mean environment variable for uh, uh, PHP now sometimes it's seen that um, sometimes when you install WAMP WAMP by default put the current environment variable into the into uh, into that so you don't have to configure it so make sure that WAMP doesn't have you know the environment variable not is not already present inside um, inside it so sometimes you'll have to put it sometimes you don't have to put it so accordingly um, you can put it so make sure that you don't put it uh, twice okay so that's all um, I hope you learned something from this, this tutorial have a great day thank you